Welcome to Fahad's tutorial and this is Fahad saying. This video is about the blood circulation through human heart. As we know that the structure of human heart and what are the parts name and uh, some understanding about it. Now we need to know that how this blood is circulating. So as we know that totally two types of blood, blood circulations are there like open and closed human body is under closed circulatory system and we know that there are systemic circulations pulmonary circulations portal circulations and coronary circulations but in this video i'm going to explain very shortly and primarily that this is about double circulation why that human heart is following the double circulation and how it's going on so to understand it we need to know first that what is the structure of human heart and this is awesome if you see my last video that i explained the structure of human heart i explained with this picture that what is right atrium what is left atrium what is right ventricle and left ventricle what are the valves why uh, the tricuspid valves, what is mitral or bicuspid valves and why it is naming like that. So that, that this is really really awesome and this is really interesting that when you think about it that how blood is moving inside human heart then you will feel the beauty of it because you know that our body is always doing some numbers uh, metabolic process in a, inside and that is why oxygen and carbon dioxide balance is required and that is why blood is circulating to our whole body and these transportations of enzymes uh, vitamins minerals proteins urea uric acid and creatine in lots of things is moving in our body and this movement is because of the pumping organ because it's pumping the blood and then blood is moving in our body through the blood vessels and this is arteries veins and capillaries i still talk about the arteries veins and capillaries in the next video but in this video let's focus the double circulation why it is called double circulation because it will consist systemic plus pulmonary you know that pulmonary means that is related with lungs pulmonary artery that will go to the lungs and pulmonary vein that will come from lungs you know why we use cardia cardia means heart so cardiology it's the science where the human heart will be discussed so now think about the circulation of blood into our body before we explain i want to show you a picture this is like this if you really understand this one it's a very good shape to give you the understanding and the color is expressing that this one actually um, oxygenated deoxygenated and this reddish one is oxygenated so you see that from the lower part of the body lower part of the body the deoxygenated blood is coming to the heart at first where in the right atrium you see that this is right atrium and then it goes to the lungs through these two channel and these two channel is the pulmonary artery and this is left this is right i love this figure so much because this is a very easy expression uh, to understand the blood circulations so with this channel you see from the upper side also blood which is deoxygenated blood is coming to the human heart i mean actually in right atrium so from the right atrium it's you see the direction of blood flow it's coming to here so it's coming here and then from this part it's going to the left lung and to the right lung and see this is the process that is assuming i mean it's just explaining that in lungs it's purifying we know that in lungs blood is purifying through the diffusion process with oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange and through this process it's coming again with this process and this is the left atrium 
and then through the left ventricle you see this is arch of aorta and through this arch of aorta it's going to the whole body in the lower and the upper part and similarly the process is going on and going on and every moment the heart is moving and through this process it's going on now you think about it what you have seen here so how I can say that how this double circulations is going on first this is superior vena cava so from the upper part of our body like brains and shoulders like this from the upper part of our body the blood is coming blood is coming to blood is coming to the right atrium through the superior vena cava and from the lower side through the inferior vena cava so we can say that superior vena cava plus inferior vena cava with this vena cava this is actually the bigger veins superior vena cava and inferior vena cava through this vena cava blood is coming to the right atrium so we can say to the right atrium so uh, to the right atrium so we can say this is right atrium and these bloods are carbon dioxide i mean deoxygenated blood so when deoxygenated blood through the superior and inferior vena cava are coming to the right atrium that means it requires the relaxation of atrium and this atrium relaxation you see when the right atrium is filled with deoxygenated blood at the same time left atrium was also filled with the oxygenated blood from the lungs and those where the atrium relaxations or expansions is required and you know that in case of expansion we know this is diastole and in contraction it known as systole and a complete systole and diastole makes one heartbeat i'm coming up with this content so the right atrium and then right atrium when right atrium is you know relaxed then it's filled up with deoxygenated blood so blood is arrived here and then when atrium will contract then blood will go through the right ventricle and these will definitely will have an aperture and you know that this is auriculoventricular aperture as we know that atrium is known as auricle and this is ventricle so there is an aperture which is known as auricular in case of right right auriculoventricular aperture that is covered by the tricuspid valve so through this right atrium through this tricuspid valve it will it will go to it will go to the right ventricle so this is right ventricle this v means ventricle i'm just giving you the shorter expressions and this is valve so it's not the this is tricuspid valve and this is right ventricle and you know that when blood will come to the right ventricle then it will go to through the semilunar valve to the pulmonary artery and this is the left pulmonary artery this is right pulmonary artery so from the right ventricle it will go to it will go to semilunar valve through the semilunar valve it will it will go to uh, the pulmonary artery so we can say right pulmonary artery plus left pulmonary artery and through this right and left pulmonary artery through this left and right pulmonary artery it will go to the lung and in lung what will happen simply we can say there will be the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide so after that after that when lungs will will do these diffusions like oxygen will be added and carbon dioxide will be removed 
then lung will send this blood through the left, uh, through the pulmonary vein. So we can say uh, pulmonary vein. Through this pulmonary vein, it will come to it will come to left atrium. And when it will come to left atrium, uh, when it will come to left atrium, then you see this is the left atrium. So when left atrium will have the blood, which is actually that's coming when, when the right atrium will be filled up with deoxygenated blood at the same time, left atrium will be filled up with oxygenated blood. And that is why this is known as, uh, uh, it's known as actually circulations through the systemic and pulmonary. So left atrium will have blood, oxygenated blood through the pulmonary vein and then when left atrium will be filled up then it will actually contract and then it will come to left ventricle through bicuspid valve or mitral valve so you can say this is bicuspid valve or mitral valve and you see that in case of bicuspid valve when it will come to the left ventricle left ventricle then from that left ventricle through this semilunar valve it will go to arch of aorta so when the left ventricle will contract the semilunar valve will used and then through this semilunar valve it will go to the arch arch of aorta and then through that arch of aorta this is going through upper and then through the dorsal the dorsal aorta it will reach to the whole body so we can say this is whole body so i hope you understand the the, the circulation process would you please would you please think about it this is the human heart and how it's going on you see that through the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava with the both vena cava, the blood will come to the right atrium, the right atrium. And then through the tricuspid valve, it will reach to right ventricle. And from right ventricle through the semilunar valve, SV, it will go to the right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery, and it will reach to lung. And this is the purifying center, blood purification center. So when it will reach to lung, you see that oxygen will be added and carbon dioxide will be removed. And then from lung through the pulmonary vein, it will reach to left atrium. And from left atrium through the bicuspid valve, or you know that this is mitral valve, it will reach to left ventricle. And then from left ventricle to semilunar valve, again it will reach to arch of aorta. And then through this arch of aorta, it will reach to whole body. Do you really understand? Do you really understand how these things is going on? But I have said that this is not the right process. This is only the imaginations. But the right thing is that atrium will, will be filled together. And that is why this is bicirculation, double circulation. That means double circulation means this is systemic. I mean from the whole body, from the upper side and the lower side, blood is coming in left atrium, sorry, right atrium. This is a systemic part. But from the lung, again, the left atrium will be filled up through the pulmonary vein with oxygenated blood. So it means that right atrium and left atrium both will be filled up with different bloods at the same time. So right atrium will be filled up by the deoxygenated blood and left atrium will be filled up by oxygenated blood. That will happen together. And then when atrium is becoming expanded and then both atrium will be contracted and then blood will go to directly from the right atrium to right ventricle, from the left atrium to left ventricle. And then from the left ventricle it is purified blood. From the left ventricle, it will go to the whole body and from the right ventricle, it will go to for purification to lungs. 
and that is why this is double circulation systemic and pulmonary both circulation is going on so you can follow this shorter expansion right atrium tricuspid valve right ventricle semilunar valve right pulmonary artery left pulmonary artery pulmonary vein left atrium bicuspid valve left ventricle semilunar valve and then the thing is clear so I'm targeting if any teachers is watching these videos okay but students those who are right now studying O level and firstly watching this tutorial for studying human heart I am trying to reach your concentration level that you understand the things that how things is going on so I'm coming up with the next video with uh, the blood vessels like arteries and veins you know that arteries has three layers the tunica interna tunica externa and tunica media actually actually externa media intima that is the uh, chronic sequential uh, layers in case of arteries and veins also so there are some basics that we need to know that what are the differences between arteries and veins and also we need to understand about the capillaries so coming up with the next video uh, take care stay well and let me know that do you really understand this tutorial do you really understand the human circulations or if you have any problem write me in the comment sections or you can connect with me in the facebook page in my facebook page which is fahad's tutorial take care stay well